Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer en dit is de 4-bit maze. Um, this is a uh, vision that I have had already for a long time that I wanted to make a mechanical puzzle or an electronic puzzle that doesn't have a screen, it doesn't have any lights, it's purely tactile and it's purely mechanical. So let me first uh, show you what's inside this box. Um, this is my prototype from the year uh, 2000, so it's uh, 11 years old, in which I made a 4-bit maze with uh, four relay switches. Unfortunately it uh, broke and it has never worked uh, since. So now what I did, I used an Arduino uh, open source uh, uh, platform in combination with something called a motor shield. And you see you can click one just on top of the other. And some, some of these which is called a motor fader. Uh, it's a fader because it's, well, it slides, uh, it's for fading uh, audio and the motor you can see here, you see that there is a little motor and that's connected. So uh, those are the components that are inside the box. Um, so I'm going to connect it. Here we are. So put in the power. By the way, this is the USB uh, input, so if I want to reprogram it, I just connect my USB cable into the computer and I can reprogram it. Okay, let's turn it on. Let's press reset. And now we are doing challenge number zero. That's the number that you see here. Challenge zero is very uh, simple. For all the challenges, the object is to get the sliders from zero to one. So let's try. Well, it stays there. Okay. Well, let's do another one. You see if I move it back, it moves back. And let's do the fourth one. Okay, I've mastered challenge number zero. So let's go to challenge number one. You see, now it says number one. So let's move one. Hey, that one moves back. Hmm, this doesn't move at all. Let's reset. Um, hey, now I have two, so that's good. I solved uh, challenge number one as well. Going to challenge number two. Again, you see, uh, challenge number two has a completely different flavor because sometimes I have only one switch up, sometimes uh, three are up, and it moves in different directions. So, uh, demonstrating challenge number three. Hmm doesn't work. Ah, this clicks. Okay, so maybe I have to push one back, not that one. Yeah. So uh, challenge number three is actually a Carnot uh, diagram through which uh, I'm uh, moving around like a maze. So yet another flavor of challenge. Well, going to challenge number four. It has the funny property that all these switches are connected in some funny way. Um, challenge number five. Ah, here's one. Hmm, bit difficult, not going to demonstrate that one. Hey. This is one is again different. You move something and all the others move. So here we have another challenge with a different flavor. Let's try number seven. Doesn't do anything. No. Okay, what's going on? None, none of the switches works. Well, for this challenge you need to do two at a time. So, one doesn't work, now you have to do two. Okay, now uh, find this one number eight. Okay, let's try, okay, goes here. No, reset. This doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work. So, let's try two. But then everything resets. Well, I'll uh, show you the solution. 
No. Do it again. So that was nasty. You had to move all the four uh, up in the correct uh, orientation. Well, number nine, I'm not going to uh, demonstrate. All gloves are off. Uh, any of the previous combinations of the previous challenges that you saw uh, can be done with uh, this. So, um, this was uh, my 4-bit maze, a purely tactile mechanical maze uh, using electronics. Thank you for watching.